Do you wake up a lot throughout the night? Does your sleep partner hear you kind of gagging or maybe choking while you sleep? Well, you could have a condition known as sleep apnea. And now there's a new campaign to raise awareness about the condition. A few former NFL players and the Illinois Institute of Dental Sleep Medicine have teamed up to get the word out. And there's an event today in Bloomington we're going to tell you about in just a minute. But first, joining us this morning is former Vikings Hall of Famer Carl Eller and Dr. David Gergen, president of Gergen's Orthodontic Lab. Thanks to both of you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right, for those unfamiliar with the condition, Doctor, let's start with you. What is it and how dangerous is it if it's left undiagnosed or maybe untreated? Uh, it's, it's very dangerous if it's left untreated. Um, it can cause heart disease, stroke, diabetes, many, many other comorbid conditions. And we even heard recently that it is contributing to more cases of cancer, or it's, yeah. a, it's a factor in getting cancer? It, yes, because it, it breaks down your immune system, so you're more susceptible. What surprises me is we are hearing more about it lately, um, but the number of people that actually have it, um, it it's, it's fairly common. Uh, 18 to 25 million, depending which study you read. Is there a reason for that? I mean, why do so many people actually stop breathing while they sleep? Oh, it's because the mandible will fall back when you're sleeping at night. And what's, it closes. The, what's, what's the mandible? It's your lower portion mm -hmm. of your jaw. It's the lower jaw. And it so falls back and it closes the airway. So it shuts it down. And our devices that we make are oral appliances, and they keep that mandible held forward. They're, they're pretty much like a mouth guard. All right. And uh, they're custom made and they keep that mandible forward so the airway stays open. Okay, so and that's one of the treatment options that we've heard about. It's yes. interesting though, I was surprised to see that so many NFL players have been diagnosed with sleep, sleep apnea. Carl, you are, are diagnosed? Well, I, I was tested and I came into the uh, a range where it's just a, a slightly above the average and I expect that I will get treatment for it. The big thing for me is to make uh, other players aware and I'm just same as you that uh, many of us really have no idea of what those dangers are and what our levels are. Well, you were tested for it, but did you have any symptoms of it? I mean, retired during the day, or did you wake up a lot at night, or anything along those lines? Well, I, not symptoms that I was aware of but, and, and that I noticed. The thing is, is I think that I probably took it as just natural and normal. You know, I would probably take a, 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 a nap or something, you know, but that was kind of, I was contributing that to my sleep pattern. But hmm. now I think it's something that I can uh, cure and have a longer period throughout today. Well, let's talk about that, doctor. So are some symptoms that you are tired throughout the day? Is, is that a possibility? Yeah, mo morning headaches. Oh, okay. You're tired throughout the day. Uh, TMJ, joint pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Joint pain is, uh, is part of it as well because at night uh, when you're sleeping, uh, your masseters, these are your jaw muscles, they'll try to fire to get that airway to open. And that's how they do it. So they're, you're clenching at night to get the airway to open. That's one of the mm -hmm. things that the body does too try to wake you up or open that airway. And it is usually your sleeping partner who uh, ends up getting their spouse or their partner into a doctor, is that right? So that, that, that's correct. And what does it sound like for those who might be wondering? Well, the, the, it's gonna, they'll stop breathing. They'll just stop breathing and all of a sudden, they'll, <gasps> one of those, that's, what's gonna, that's what it's gonna sound like. So it's kind of a gasp for it, air. It is, it, it, it is a gasp for air. And um, football players are, are big and muscles don't only grow out, they also grow in. Hmm. which makes the airway smaller. Yeah. So uh, that's why we formed the Pro Player Health Alliance mm -hmm. to get guys like Carl help because I mean we all love watching football. Sure. And these guys went out and they, they performed for us, entertained us, and, and now it's, we're giving back to them. Any ideas if it could actually affect playing? I mean, you know. Well, <laughs> we don't know, but one of the things is I'm the president of the Retired Players Association, uh -huh. so we certainly want to make them aware, and by doing so, we'll make the general public aware. I think it's important, really important to point out, you mentioned that there are solutions. This is treatable. This is this is treatable. You mentioned a dental appliance that can help. Um, is that Does that always work, or some people no, will need the CPAP? Some people will need the CPAP. Um, the CPAP is the gold standard, mm -hmm. um, but the problem with that is 70 Five percent of the people are intolerant to it, so they it's, can't. It's it's a big thing. I mean, it's kind of like a, a pilot mask, it, you know, with a big it, tube on it. Yeah, it is. It is, and this is just a little dental device. It goes in, keeps the mantle open, and for the people that that it will work for, it works beautifully. Well, that's wonderful. Well, Dr. David Gergen and Carl Eller, thanks so much for being with us. We're going to talk about the campaign today. Um, former NFL players, as I said, and the Illinois Institute of Dental Sleep Medicine are coming together today. It's at the Hilton Doubletree Hotel in Bloomington. 
The event is called Tackling Sleep Apnea, and they're hoping to raise awareness and, of course, answer your question. The event is at 5. Admission is free. And will people actually be able to be tested there? Is there a way to be tested? Yes. Or have to be overnight? Yes. Um, uh, the president of Sleep Group Solutions, Ronnie Ben David, was kind enough to donate 50 free test units. Oh. So 50 people, the first 50 to come, they can go home and sleep in their bed, and we will know in the morning if they're apneic. Wonderful. Absolutely free. All right. Well, it sounds like a great event and probably something that a lot of people need. All right. We're going to toss it over to Miss Marina for a good look at our good-looking forecast.